Congratulations, you're about to learn the perfect party treat. Tofu go. Fried stuffed tofu. We're gonna learn how to transform firm tofu into delicious golden triangles filled with homemade stuffing. My dad will start with a secret technique to prime the tofu for a beautiful fry. We'll add a teaspoon of salt into the water. Now we'll put in all our tofu. Tofu comes in many forms, shapes, and firmnesses. But here you'll want to get a medium firm to firm tofu. Make sure to find a tofu that you can handle and cut comfortably. The goal is to have it act as a vessel for the filling. Otherwise, you can buy the pre cut tofu for this dish. After boiling for about 2 to 3 minutes, strain your tofu but be careful not to break any. After dicing the cilantro, we'll move on to dicing the green onions. After drying the fish, we'll start to slice it. Slice your fish into quarter inch pieces and get ready to smash it with the end of your knife. With a cleaver, we'll smash down on our fish a bit at a time to create our paste. We'll then fold the paste onto itself and smash it again. We'll first peel the shrimp. Then we'll butterfly the shrimp by slicing into the back of the shrimp slightly, which will also help us devein them in the next step. To level up your confidence in cutting all kinds of ingredients, check out our comprehensive masterclass on knife techniques in the Kanto Cooking Club. To get access, check out club.mimothlao.com. After cutting the shrimp, we'll use water to clean them. We'll wash the shrimp gently, making sure to remove the dark veins as we drain them. For the shrimp, my dad likes to go straight into mashing without cutting first. After mashing once, we'll then chop the paste a bit before folding and mashing again. Once you've mashed both your shrimp and fish, mix them together and continue mashing to combine them. For the marinade, we'll use a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water. Then we'll mix the marinade together. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Then we'll mix the marinade into the paste. Then 
Now we'll stir in the sesame oil and aromatics into the paste with our chopsticks. My dad also likes to use a spoon to press down on the paste to incorporate the ingredients and to create a smoother consistency. Okay. We'll place our tofu on the towel to dry. We'll fold over the towel and press down gently to absorb as much water from the tofu as possible. Then we'll set them on the cutting board for our next step. We'll cut each piece from corner to corner twice to end up with four triangular pieces. With the spoon, we'll score out a small part of the center. Then scoop it out. We'll continue scooping out the center of the pieces, being careful not to break the structure of the tofu. You can also use a knife if you prefer. Okay, first question is how do you prevent this from falling apart? After scooping each piece, we'll actually use the tofu that we took out. We'll use the cleaver to mash the tofu scraps into a paste. We'll mash them a couple times to make sure it's a fine paste without any large chunks of tofu. Then we'll mix in the tofu with the fish and shrimp paste with a spoon. My dad takes about a minute to do this to ensure the tofu is well incorporated with the rest of the ingredients. When that's done mixing, we can start to stuff our tofu pieces. With a spoon, we'll take about a tablespoon or so of filling and fill the hole in each piece of tofu. After stuffing all the tofu, we'll need a large enough pot for deep frying. With the heat on high, we'll add the oil. When the oil is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or there are small bubbles like this around a chopstick, we're ready to fry. Now, 
For safety, try to avoid splashing oil when you submerge the tofu. Using a spider strainer is a good alternative. Tongs pose as a riskier alternative because you might not have a good grip and might accidentally drop the tofu. Oh, so that well, but... we'll fry in batches to not overcrowd the pot. Stir the tofu around gently to make sure they're frying evenly and not sticking to each other. After a minute and a half to two minutes, or when they start to turn a slight golden brown, we can take them out. Then we'll repeat with the rest of the tofu. Is there an alternative to deep frying? After frying the last batch, we'll set them aside and get ready for the second fry. We'll make sure the heat is on high and wait until the oil reaches 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll add in half of the tofu to fry for about a minute to get that beautiful golden brown and crispy exterior. Today's dish is the crispy cousin of steamed stuffed tofu, a recipe we've made before. While you'd find the steamed version at a sit-down restaurant, we would likely find our version in the streets of Hong Kong or on food carts in Toisan. As we've mentioned before, tofu is one of the fried stuff three treasures, with peppers and eggplant being the other two. Just like at a street market, we're double frying the stuffed tofu to achieve the signature golden color and addictive uber crispy bite. After we finish double frying the rest of the tofu, we'll set it aside while we cook our sauce. Okay, you can take my sauce easy, huh? We'll heat our wok on high, then add about a teaspoon of oil. Now we can add the sauce we mixed earlier. At this point, my dad mixes together half a teaspoon of cornstarch with a tablespoon of water to create a slurry to thicken our sauce. This sauce you can use, you can use, you can use, you don't like it, you don't like it, you don't like it. Okay, no problem, this one. Then we'll add in our slurry and mix it in. We'll continue to mix it frequently until it boils. When the sauce boils and starts to thicken just a bit, we'll turn off the heat and pour it into a small serving bowl. Now we can plate our tofu pieces nicely on a serving plate. And of course, we can't forget the bowl of dipping sauce. Yes! Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Cha tao fu gok, chao chao zo lo. Yi go zhai wo de tong ning ge hui yi. Hei man dai ge zhong yi ha. Hong dai, lo lai he ao fu gok. Oh. Maybe the whole thing. Ni di jiao. Camera camera. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our walk stars and all of our chefs in the Kanto Cooking Club.